As I have just released a patch update for Football Manager 2017, if you're watching the show, then the patch has already gone out. Uh, if you log into your game, you go to Steam, you turn on your game, uh, it should restart and you should be able to see that the version of the game is now changed. Um, you can tell what the version of the game is by going down to your game status and you can see right over here it was a 17.2 match engine version 1703 that is the match version match engine version of your game and there have been some changes to the match engine the most notable noticeable changes are going to be i'm going to go to the match engine ones very soon but i'm going to talk about some of the other ones that were apparent um, in network games previously, uh, non-admins were able to kick out clients from network games and this has been fixed. So it was going to affect um, good news for everybody who used to play in network games. Spurs fans, well, you're, when you change stadiums, the uh, crowd numbers should now be more accurate. Uh, we've got uh, adjustments to certain leagues. Uh, we've got small changes to the pre-game editor. If you want to find out what all these changes are, you can of course go down to um, the community sigames.com forum where you've got a whole list of uh, the changes that have gone into the game uh we've they made changes to the network this is this is common um we usually get a patch update just before christmas and i was expecting it to come on christmas eve or a few days before christmas but this is good news because it means it's he here even earlier um, and one of the biggest things that i noticed in the patch engine the, the match engine changes was this the improved implementation of the inverted wing back row now um, for many players uh, who are not familiar the inverted wing back is actually was actually a role that came to prominence uh, with a certain coach called Pep Guardiola you know he has this um, he would get his uh, full backs to come from this position and they go somewhere into the central midfield area. If you have a DM who will be sitting in front of the DMs, if you have no DMs, they'll be sitting with all the midfielders, acting as an auxiliary midfielder. So what this meant was that uh, it could it free up a midfielder to go and attack the box, or sometimes you'd have inverted wing backs who actually do that, you know, they go charging up the box as well. The news is that so far we only have the inverted wing back right now on the support duty, which is uh, a bit disappointing. Uh, we do ex I do expect more changes to come because the inverted wing back role is fairly new and we do expect certain changes. I'm not too thrilled with the fact that he still makes more risky passes because it's an active uh, role, active um, instruction for his uh, role and he always dribbles more, you know, it's active so you you have these already inbuilt into this and so he comes with dribble more cut inside more risky passes cross less off and sit narrow and roam from position so this is going to be the biggest change that they've made they want to try and make it more accurate so in the game what you'll see is this inverted wing back will dr will supposedly drop here and then this should theoretically free up players in this strata to go and attack what would happen previously in the previous match engine was the inverted wing back would go up, he'll stay here for a, for a second, he'll bomb up, become a fullback again, then he come, then he'll drop in back and become a fullback again. It, it actually, um, you know, played to the description in the game. So now he's uh, providing crosses is not the priority for his role. Instead, he will look to carry the ball and congest play in the middle as much as possible. So the description has also changed a bit. So now what we expect him to do is we expect him to be in this area of the pitch. What this means for people is uh, that you would see that the inverted wing back is going to drop back into the hole here when your team loses possession. So he's going to try and come back and, you know, um, protect the flanks. But he's not going to be, you won't see him bombing up the flanks, making crosses. Now, what kind of players should play this role? Now, we have some players who are famous for this role and um, usually you will find that uh, Guardiola used it with uh, Barcelona and he's also used it with Bayern Munich. He's used it with two teams and we're fully expecting him to you know, start using it a bit more with uh, Man City as well, which is the reason why SI have included the role changes. One thing though, I don't expect the role to be perfect. Um, I do expect there to be some glitches. 
and uh, I think that as the game goes on, um, it may even be open to exploit. Why do I believe that? If the if the inverted wingback is able to come back and defend this slot very quickly, it means that if you can find a player with the right attributes, okay, he should be able to congest play in the middle, free up this guy, you, so you get another midfielder, and then when the transition happens here, if somebody's holding the ball, and if you see your inverted wingback running back, it means that inverted wingback can cover two positions. So the question is, how do you want to play it? So there is a possibility, I think, that this can be exploited. How would I exploit it? I would first find physical attributes. That would be the most important thing. You need a player that can last 90 minutes of sprints. So there are players in the game right now that can do that. The second thing you need to do is you need to make sure that this is your best defender. And this guy has the uh, very good anticipation. So you need to make this guy number one defender in your team. And this guy has to be physically superb. Now, if he is able to come into this area and congest play, you could theoretically play a system where you could be camping in another team's half and this position could be released to attack. And that could create even more drama in the opponent's half. So the uh, the changes to the inverted wing back role are interesting. I do expect there to be more changes. Uh, they, this is the history of S uh, SI. Don't, they want to make the role as realistic as possible. We gotta give them kudos for that. You know, they're trying to make it, um, they're trying to bring in real things that are happening in the world and they're trying to put into the game, which we should all give them credit for. Sometimes it takes time for these changes to actually kick in and, you know, the, the tr it's gonna take lots of people playing the game to suddenly go, hey, we can do something fun with this. So why don't we do something fun with this? So if you guys find something fun with this, now let me know. If you see something that's interesting, let me know. We can all put this together and don't be surprised come January, they improve that role. So it's only good for us, isn't it, that we can find ways and means to make this game even more exciting for us. So how would I play this in a system? Well, there are several ways I could play him. One, I could play him like this, okay? Uh, this way, there's a DM here. So he acts like uh, I can even make this into a halfback, right? So let's play him as a halfback, and then I'll get him to be an inverted wingback, knowing fully well he's gonna come here. So this means that Baselli, I want a player here who can get further forward, all right? So first up, I want to get a player who already has that PPM. So I will pick a player who has a gets forward whenever possible. So he has that. So he's gonna bomb forward from this position. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not. I don't really have uh, the players for to play this uh, system. But okay, I can put Rodrigo de Paul here, and on the right flank you can put Paragini. Oh, I do have players for this. Okay, Silva, Chioza. We'll play Mandi as a fullback on attack, uh, and uh, up front we will have uh, Zico Mess. So we'll play a match and see how this pans out so now I want to camp right so if I want to camp I'll just go to I want to camp and keep my team uh, with the possession of the ball so we'll play on short shorter passing I'll go fairly wide now we'll play mixed so based on the description we know this guy is gonna dribble a lot <laughs> uh, he's gonna have to be good with handling the ball so his first touch has to be decent his dribbling has to be good and generally his decisions will also need to be good because he has to make the decision at the right time to move up and to move down uh, Gaston Silva is a very good defender I mean full back who can defend but in terms of creating opportunities and looking to assert himself on a game not that fantastic Danilo Avila he's got decent dribbling acceleration anticipation 13 decisions 13 uh, well okay on off the ball 14 positioning 12 not bad he's slightly better than uh, Gaston Silva in that position so between these two I'll probably have to go with Danilo Avila for this position now I've got two more defenders so what I want to do is I want to make sure that my central defenders uh, aren't um, you know compromised by our friend running up and down so at the back i have marco chiosa whose anticipation is 14 tackling is 13 but not that good in so we'll play christian ramos instead of uh, our friend uh, whoever that was just now <laughs> so here we have a very simple um 
four one two two one. Are there other systems that can take advantage of this? Uh, especially if, let's say, you don't have any, you have a. I I would prefer using this with a two man midfield. So here we have a two man midfield, and uh, let's see how we do in this match, which is uh, friendly actually. And we use the data analyst. One thing I noticed as well is okay. Here we go. You can see right off the kickoff, uh, Danilo Avila is actually standing here. Not something that's good. Uh, we hope that will be fixed eventually. Uh, because he starts off here, but he should be starting off somewhere around here. But Nazi has dropped deep into his position as a halfback, which is almost immediate. Um, the other things that they fixed was, of course, the handling of the goalkeepers. Now we'll just observe how Danilo Avila does during the game. You can see he's cutting side. This allows Baselli to move up. So ideally, what we want to see is Avila dropping into this position. Okay. And uh, now he's okay. He's already bolted. You did you see, if you saw that, then you'd have seen him already bolt to his defensive position. We'll have to go to um, 2D Classic now. Once again, we're looking at Danilo Avila. He's come to a central position. This is what we expect to see. Now we, this means that you really need to make sure that you get width from somewhere, and this width has to come from one of your other players. You can see Danilo Avila is not. In acting like an auxiliary midfielder and uh, yeah supporting Baselli and not going too high into the area the only downside is uh, how close he is to the other players and see whether there's there's gonna be a slight difference I would expect on structure as well okay Mandi with the ball to Paragini now once again you see where Daniel Avila's position is he has not actually gone to the flanks to um, deliver any crosses the crosses are they all have to come from somewhere else Baselli the the because Danilo Avila has come into the center Baselli your CMA is now going to charge up a lot more into space and that's what I expected to see normally um, in the previous engine uh, match engine um, the CMA would not come in you wouldn't see him in this position for a cross like that, you would probably find the striker and the other inside forward being there. Uh, we we just want to see how um, this new inverted wing back role plays out. Now it does have implications for how you set up your tactics. If you want to use the inverted wing back, yeah, by all means go for it. I think it's a great role. Um, however, there are clear disadvantages to using the inverted wing back. One of them involves um, leaving yourself open to the diagonal which is a pep uh, uh, something that's a feature of a pep guardiola system so they, they don't defend spaces behind the um, on the flanks very well um, however I, I have also noticed that Danilo Avila this position he tends to shoot back quite fast when you lose possession here uh, this means that there's going to be a hole here that you need to cover so you need to do some uh, closing down you, um, some of the other players they have to close down a bit high um, furthermore you if you find the right kind of player you see how he's running back right now he's running back very fast but once Ramos picks up the ball he checks his movement um, if he transitions a bit too quickly or if you can if you can find a player that can do that then you can actually make this role really work very well for you the ball inside the box of course this is just a friendly but we only want to see how uh, this 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 role plays out now we um, we start the second half and we turn him back into a fullback on support now you want to see how this affects uh Baselli and how it affects your back line because i remember i'm playing with a halfback so now that I've um, told my um, inverted wing back to become a full back, it means that there's going to be a bit more space in and around um, this area of the pitch, the center area of the pitch. Ball is booted up, um, defender clears it. Now Danilo Avila is here. You can see with the half back now, a lot more work has to be done by Baselli. Baselli doesn't charge up so much. Um, as he would if there was a inverted wing back there you can see him hanging about he doesn't arrive into the box until much later Paragini finishing that off but you can see now that there is a slight gap now between um, the, the in the transition now when you don't have an inverted wing back playing in that position so um, the, the advantages of using an inverted wing back is that it can release a midfielder in 
do in your team to actually do transitions a bit more quickly. Um, the downside using the inverted wing back is that you leave your flanks open. So those are the things that you may want to bear in mind if you want to use the new uh, revamped inverted wing back in your game. So do I believe that you can um, take advantage of the inverted wing back in any kind of a game? Yes, I do. I do believe that you can. Uh, you just need to find the right player and create the right kind of control in that area of the pitch where the inverted wing back is supposed to operate. Uh, it's a great role, it's a great change and I'm looking forward to how people are going to start using the inverted wingback in the systems. I do expect to see a lot more systems come up with inverted wingbacks pretty soon. Uh, what some of the other major changes, I guess um, the biggest change has been how the goalkeeper right now is handling the, the penalty box area. Uh, previously, the goalkeepers uh, were terrible at um, handling um, crosses. Uh, Pairing the ball, the first touch was terrible, so they fixed that at the moment and we're looking to see um, better performances from the goalkeepers. Please don't judge the, my friendly by that account because this is a friendly, I'm just playing it. Uh, Torino is just having fun, uh, this is just a warm-up game for us. Uh, it's like a training ground game. Uh, we just go into matches, try different tactics and I just track my inverted wing back system in a friendly match. Um, we're just, you know, getting some guys warmed up so uh, there are a few more other changes in the match engine uh, some of them uh, not too major but I'm sure that you guys will be able to find out what these changes are once again uh, you can go on to SI forums uh, look at the match engine changes I am very happy that they've improved um, decision making in for some of the outfield players when the the judge uh, the way the ball comes and then um when teams are down to 10 men as well uh the the, the ai does change uh, its mentality so there are certain small little changes here that have been made to the match engine and we hope that this um, all lends itself to a more fantastic experience for people when they uh, want to uh, go into the game um, in worth wing back, there's still room. Don't judge SI too quickly. If you think there's a better way of doing it, put a bug on the forum, stick your PKMs in, you know, get other people to take a look at it. And if SI is always willing to change things for the better when, you know, they want to make the game as realistic as possible. Well, I hope you enjoyed this show. It's a quick look at the inverted wing back and some of the other changes that came with the new patch. Uh, and if you have any thoughts, comments, you know where to find me, Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com. That's my website. I hope to hear from you guys again soon. Bye-bye.